Um, now let's let me uh, spend a second here talking to you about blue velvet. Now this was uh, what a piece of work this was. Now that must have that must have been fun filming that, right? It was great because yeah. you would just act like a maniac all day, right? That's all I did. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what were you? What was that? What was it? Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, Frank was nuts, and he had a canister and a, and a face mask, and he was breathing stuff. A lot of all breathing, a lot yeah. of breathing. Yeah. Probably actually, an asthmatic. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was written as helium. Uh -huh. which would have made it really different. David Lynch, who directed it, wrote it. Yeah. And um, helium changes your voice, and we had some there. It doesn't get you high, though. Uh -huh. And so I tried it, and I sounded a little like Donald Duck. You know? <laughs> and uh, I said, David, it's really difficult for me to act with this, uh, you know, this helium. So if you want to dub that voice in later, let's go for it. But mm -hmm. right now, let me think of it as amyl nitrate or <laughs> nitric oxide. Mm -hmm. And he said, what is that? And I said, just trust me <laughs> on this one, you yeah? know? Yeah. So uh, that's what I did. I used a lot of Lee Strasberg since memory and went for it. But uh, definitely disoriented my mind. Yeah. And, uh, now, now, was that as, and I don't mean offense by this, but was that as peculiar a character uh, that you have ever portrayed? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Then there's Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 that I did this last year. Yeah. That was pretty weird, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> River's Edge is strange. I do strange parts, I must say. Uh, they're, they're, I'm, I'm yeah, well, I want to talk about River's Edge here in a second. Yeah. Uh, but now, now you mentioned that you're not drinking anymore and you're not y using any other kind of chemicals, yeah. but you had a period in your life, didn't you, where that was just uh, like that toast was, for breakfast, right? That was it, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and and I, I read an account of your life in, in a, I guess it was Vanity Fair recently, oh, yeah. pretty rough stuff that you came through. Yeah. yeah. Did you look at that period of your life as a huge mistake or did you enjoy it when you were going through it? Well, you know, it's strange to say, but I, for a while it worked. I mean, I always thought of it as a... Oh, is that right? <laughs> I always thought of it as a creative, uh, you know, release. Yeah. But, in but you were drinking enormous quantities uh, of alcohol. Forget anything else. Unbelievable. So, like, well, on a day, on an average day, how much hard liquor were you consuming? I was drinking about 28 beers a day and about a, a half a gallon of rum with a fifth of rum on the side just in case I, you know, didn't have so, any in the morning. So, at least a case of beer. Oh, yeah. And, well, like, chips? Do you have chips with those? Uh... <laughs> no, I, you know, it was for my health because, you know, it had, you know, it has substance. A beer yeah. has, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, And then, and, uh, did you uh, say you know, a gallon of rum or a half a gallon of rum? A half a gallon of rum with uh -huh. the fifth rum on the side, yeah. That was every day for five years. I'd do about three grams of Coke to sober up. But I thought other people had problems. I didn't think I had a problem with it. Yeah. Because other people were crawling around. I was still working. Still I thought I was function. working. Yeah. But isn't it amazing, and going through that kind of abuse, isn't it amazing how resilient the, the human system actually is? I mean, yeah. it's just un unbelievable that you're still not alone, you know, not just walking around. You're still functioning and uh, winning awards for your acting and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It, is, it is amazing. And also, I'm, I... <laughs> I must say, I've never had a better time I'm having right now in my life. Yeah. So, so it, to me, it was a waste of time. Yeah. Because to be to be sober is really uh, it's amazing. To but me. do you do you think you could? <laughs> uh, do do you think you could be where you are today uh, if you had not gone through that other experience? I'd hate to think where I'd be with that. No, I I don't know where I would be. Yeah. You know, I, I, but I mean, uh, now you have something to compare. Uh, the goodness of your life, too, and you, you have something really to hang on to and, and, and thank the Lord for. Yeah, absolutely. All right, what, what are we doing here? We've got to do a commercial, and then uh, we'll be back here with Dennis Hopper. All right, so uh, the, the movie that is out now, I guess it's open most everywhere, or just... Uh Oh, River's Edge. Yeah, yeah River's Edge. Yeah, it's just in New York and Los Angeles, but it's opening next week all across country. Now, this was a, uh, a, a movie reviewer, David Denby, <laughs> called... He said it's the most disturbing thing he's seen since he's been reviewing films. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, is this based on the, the episode that took place in California about six years ago? Yeah, it's uh, Sacramento, I think all it right, was. Tell, tell the folks, and then we have a clip we want to take there a look at. There was a very white conservative high school, I believe it's in Sacramento, and a uh, boy strangles his girlfriend to death. That's um, as the movie starts. Mm -hmm. And um, it's based on a true story. 
That's basically it. And none, none of the kids in the high school uh, tell uh, tell anyone about it. Yeah, it was, it was very odd at the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and what are we going to see here now? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but we think it's from the same film, more yeah. than likely. River's Edge. All right, this will be something Dennis Hopper in uh, the film River's Edge. I killed Jamie. Damn it, John! He didn't exactly kill her. It was an accident. Uh, I killed a girl once. It was no accident. Put the gun right to the back of her head, blew her brains right out the front. I was in love. I strangled mine. Did you love her? She was okay. I play a one-legged ex-biker mm -hmm. who gives marijuana to the high school kids, mm -hmm. and I live with a rubber sex doll named Ellie. And so they figure they'll take the guy and put him with me because I killed a girl 20 years before, and I'll understand him. But oh, God. We have a disagreement. But now that part, that part, the character you play is fiction, right? That had I been hope, added I to... I hope so. <laughs> Uh, I got to tell you, that scene that you do uh, did in Blue Velvet with uh, Dean Stockwell at the little oh, place yeah. in the country, <laughs> that's one of the most, and it is, it's actually very funny, yeah. but pretty strange, pretty darn strange. But All anyway, right. River's Edge, I'm really proud of, All whether right. I was in it or not. I think it's a great movie. All right, well, I'm sure it is. Okay. Uh, and you're, uh, we got to go? Okay, I'm, uh, stay right there. Okay. We'll, we'll be right back. <laughs>